I am going to apologize about the noise behind me, but if you look past Jeff's girlfriend, you will see that uh, we had a house fire, so the insurance company is doing some work to the outside of the house and the inside of the house, so I do apologize. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. B is for boost, and today we're working on the third. So what are we doing to it today? We are going to do a cheap budget lowering spring. So let's check out this wheel gap. That is four fingers easily, as you see. And we are going to put a set of rims on this at the same time since we did get rims. The rims we did get were a set of rims we paid $200 for a long time ago. But we are upgrading to an 18 inch rim and we are upgrading to a cheap, cheap lowering springs. Now, when I say cheap, this is a cheap build. They were given to me. They are uh, first gen neon front springs on PT Cruiser struts and then the back were cut. So we're gonna see how it works out. If it rides like crap, I will buy some teens or something along those lines and we'll drop it properly. But for now, we're just gonna check this out. Look at these nice clear headlights. Up in the right hand corner guys, if you wanna see how we did that. So Jeff is trying to pop the hood. Look at him struggle. Look at him. There it goes. If you don't remember, this car sat for four years, so some things might be a little hard to... Uh, your face is red. Well, it was a hard reach as it was when I'm trying to pull that. <laughs> there you go. Put this up. So we're going to get this up in the air, guys. We are going to uh, show you how we're going to do this. Let's have some fun. All right, so you see Jeff is undoing the strut, which is just a couple 21s. We do have the two front tires off. We did end up breaking free. When I say we, I mean... Jeff uh, did break free the upper uh, mounts because the mounts, the motor's moving a lot and we do have solid mounts. We're gonna put solid mounts in it at the same time. So it should be a nice upgrade. Lowered, solid mounts, rims and tires. So we did scan this, because I did mention before, we were having an issue, it was intermediate, that it would buck. You'd be driving along, say if it's at 2000 RPMs, it would just start shaking like that. So uh, we did get the code, it's like a P0548 or something like that. But uh, I think it's going to be a throttle positioning sensor. I'm going to obviously Google the code and see what comes up if there's any normal issues with it. But, uh, you know, it is a used car. It is what it is. So I'm going to show you what we have. So there are the struts, as you see, with first gen neon springs. Hopefully it's going to drop it quite a bit. So we're going to get this on the way. You're going to watch Jeff do all the work. I think we should put SRT brakes on this. Uh, Jeff, we probably won't actually, because this already has new pads and rotors on it right now. Yeah, because the only difference is, is the rotor's a little bit thicker and the, pad, and the yeah. calipers are a tiny bit wider to compensate for it. And a bigger, it's a bigger rotor all, yeah, all it's, over. It's the 11 inch rotors. But it don't matter because yeah. this has new pads and uh, calipers on it as you see. So there's no point right now. When we turbo swap it, since this is going to be a big turbo car, we'll worry about it then. And when we turbo swap it, we are going to paint it at the same time. I shouldn't look at stuff. So let's have some fun. All right, so that one is off. As you can see, they're pretty much the same. The only difference is the spring rate itself is going to be a little bit lighter so allow it to, to drop down a little bit yes we understand that there's no boot on it but it'll be fine because at least the bump stops are in there let's get this on Okay, so the guy I was trying to say is this is done. So basically it was the two 21s down here, the three 15s up top, 13s, up. 13s on this, and then we just dropped it down and then we just put on our our magic. So it's magic. So we already explained what it is. As it sees, I don't know why I'm keeping this car sometimes. It's a little scaly on the uh, K-frame, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Don't pick at it. 
Oh, smart. I sprayed these before I even started. Look at the smile on his face when he says that. He's so proud. Well, because usually we get at something and it doesn't come off. Usually we have an impact, but we've had water issue and the air dryer we had to put stuff all through the lines and wrecked our impact. Yeah. You know how you guys can solve that? You can hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. We were in Milwaukee. One. We're too poor for that. We're, we're putting, we're, we're mixing and matching Loring kit on this. We're, we're too poor for Milwaukee. <laughs> I really like those 18s on the Roadster though. Could you imagine these on the PT? The PSWs? Yeah. The 18s look great. I think it's getting an 18 no matter what though, but the, the concave out just looks so good. Yeah, uh, the TSWs are good. But the problem is, I wouldn't want to run them on the roads around here because they're shit. And if you wreck one of them, you only live once. You also ain't gonna find another one of them either. You only, ah, yes I will. I'll walk out to the NYG. There's a set there. <laughs> I have two of those. Five 118, not the 16. We should have bought those four by 100s when we saw them on oh, the, Facebook the one, Marketplace. The the there were 16 inch two more. Yeah, four by 100. Put them on the yeah. Civic truck. I said this. Buddy, I messaged him and he said they were gone. This needs a bumper. It's going to need a bumper, two fenders, rocker panels, new owner. Should we do this as a giveaway car? No one's going to enter. Everyone else is giving away like, you know, Mustangs and Corvettes. We could do a PT Cruiser. <laughs> GTRs plus cash. Well, this would be 450 horsepower. We're not giving it away. <laughs> we couldn't give it away with this, what we're doing for lowering springs. We'd be liable. <laughs> well, the front is fine and the rear is a little questionable. Hey, Mark ran it, so he said it was fine. Yeah. He said it drove like stock. Yeah. Well, because the spring rates are pretty near the same, right? And they're not, they're shorter, but they're not. Like they're all, I think it's only one inch and a half of drops. Mom said she'd keep the kids overnight. Oh, cool. So, I don't know if you want to come down here and do stuff or... Civic truck box. Sounds perfect. Done. Deal. Date. Done. Deal. Date. He can't say no. It's already been agreed upon. <laughs> and it's on camera. <laughs> I don't really say shit. <laughs> you guys want to see the Civic truck, not the PT Cruiser. Let's let's be honest here. Okay, so we got the bottom mount out. Let's see this, Jeff. <laughs> and then we wonder why it was moving around like there was no tomorrow. Just because something's low kilometers doesn't mean it's in good shape. So I also undercoated the bottom of the rad support. Just it was a little flaky, so I took a hammer to it. I'm gonna end up doing some Dom 15 underneath everything. So one thing you are going to notice is when you're doing solid mounts, there's a little nipple here that needs to be grinded off. And since Jack works at a machine shop, metal shop, he has to grind it all smooth. <laughs> Map. Here is our one wow. solid mount. So like I think it's nice out. So we got the lower, let me show you. You can see it. We have the lower solid mount on. We are still going to do the upper today and Jeff is putting the rims on. I'll give you a sneak peek what they're going to look like, I guess. What do you think, Jeff? The camera's facing away from you. Should we show them? Oh, oh. Or make them, or make to, oh, we'll show you, I guess. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, we'll show you. So these were only $200 and we've owned them for a while. So they were $200. So here we go, 18 inch XXRs. I think that's how we fit into the SRT pages, XXRs. <laughs> <laughs> but they have good tires on it and they were $200. Yeah. So Jess, we're gonna put this one on and then tighten the other side because I didn't tighten that one yet. And then it should make a big difference. I'm curious about just putting it on the ground now. Jack doesn't want me to. I I have a feeling to get it off the hoist, we're gonna need wash underneath. I hope. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope. We're gonna need floss. <laughs> 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 Is that this is punch is not settled yet either. You gotta roll it in order to <laughs> three fingers so far. So we've lost a whole finger. They definitely don't need the spacers. They're they're a little bit pokey now. Yeah. Oh yeah. How's it look on this side? 
Imagine retrofits in here. Oh, if only I had retrofits. Check the top right hand corner link, guys. You'll see us building retrofits. Cheap and easy. You need a beige top. Let's set it up. I know where there is a beige top. I know. Awesome. You'd be real baller then. They're only 50 bucks. Is that how much it is for the top? Yeah, for the whole top. Oh, it's almost worth it just for having just it as for a spare. The frame. Yeah. If it goes up and down, it's worth it. So we'll do the top mount afterwards. We'll do the back part of the suspension first. Because we can do the top mount right outside. Yeah. That way we can roll it and see what it looks like. What do you think? Okay, so with the tires off, I think our game plan is going to be to undo the strut on one on one side, let it come down a little bit so we can change the shock, and then do the same thing on the other side. I say shock, it's technically a spring. Perfect time to give a shout out to our sponsors, YST Auto and Undo both then. No, they'll come out. Just undo both. No, just give me a bar. I can pop it. Remember, I did say I knew both, so when this goes terribly wrong, I was right. Let's compare them. Oh, I did the other one too. <laughs> She's gonna come down quite a bit. Uh, huh? Let's do it. Cool. Too late now. I'm yeah, so as this, later. as we put the wheels on and coming yeah. down, we're gonna have to guide them in. Because. Yeah. Yeah, it literally just falls right in there. <laughs> Don't jump it. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so as you see, she's low. Mount is done. Let's take this outside and see what it looks like. Look at that. That is hilarious. Okay guys, we took it for a quick drive and it actually drives really nice. As you see, we're <laughs> actually out and about. Um, even Jeff says it doesn't clunk and bang. It's Obviously, smooth, there's a little bit where obviously it is lower, but it's probably one of the best lower cars I've driven. Other than coils, coil you can't compare. No. But uh, if you do like it guys, subscribe, turn on post notifications and we'll definitely catch you on the next one. And uh, next video will be the Civic truck guys, so thanks a lot.